Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to another video. Today is, what is today? Today is the 18th. Yes, today is Tuesday, October 18th, and uh, you guys will notice that I'm gonna have workout footage from, I think, two days ago when Nikki was still here. The rest of the vlog is gonna be based around today. So I'm thinking of making this video uh, kind of like a mindfulness-based video because I've been getting really positive feedback from you guys about sharing kind of my coping mechanisms with um, kind of the mental stuff I'm going through right now, like the anxiety and stuff. So I figured I'd kind of take you guys through what I've been doing as of recent to help or just kind of like welcoming mindfulness into my life and also just a regular daily vlog. So I've been up since about 7.30, but I took my sweet time in bed because I, I woke up feeling like not the greatest. It's 9.30 now and I figure I'm gonna have a quick protein shake take a quick shower and I think I'm gonna head to the bookstore because that seems to be my favorite place as of recent so that's what's going on let's do it I need to stop saying let's do it I've talked about this combo only about a million times on this channel, but it is my favorite. And I know I'm getting new viewers every single day, so I'm like, yo, I gotta let you guys know. My absolute favorite protein in the entire world. I actually talked about this in my monthly favorites, and one of you guys will be winning this particular flavor and tub. But this is the EHP Labs OxyWay in mocha flavor. And you can mix this with just water, but I really love mixing it with Califia. Califia, I always pronounce this wrong, but I actually discovered this brand because my best friends uncle I believe works for the company and so she was always drinking it and I'm like what is this stuff so this is the cold brew coffee in mocha flavor so as you can imagine it goes great together it does actually contain caffeine as it is a coffee so you're getting like a protein flavored coffee which is absolutely delicious I know a lot of you guys have tried this combo and have loved it thus far but for those of you that are new this is my go-to combo um, I don't actually ever say this on my channel but I do have a 10% off discount code with EHP labs I really only talk about it on my snapchat but it's always linked in the description if you guys are curious but that is that that is my favorite combo yes I talk about it on here all the time because I love it So I normally just drink it like this, but today I actually decided I'm gonna try something new because I'm pretty sure my friend Katya told me that she drinks it over ice. I'm gonna grab like three or four ice cubes and throw it in there because then I feel like it'll give me like a iced coffee effect, which I like the idea of. I got this cup from a subscriber at a meetup. It's like a Starbucks like iced coffee cup, so I'm actually going to transfer this over there. Oh, it's the perfect amount. Oh, okay, well. Like I genuinely feel like I'm drinking like a Starbucks sweet iced coffee right now. Cause normally when I go to Starbucks or I go downstairs in my apartment, I just get like a regular coffee and then I add like two packs of stevia and then maybe if I'm feeling it, then I'll put a little bit of soy milk. But this is like that, but with protein. And better, much better. I'll turn the lights low while you make yourself comfortable, babe. yourself comfortable baby I got my stuff all packed up. Got my handy dandy backpack. Yes, that is faux, faux or fa fur. It's not actually fur. Got my laptop. I will um, see you guys there. Oh my God. Well, 
I was not expecting that many packages. take a moment to acknowledge this planner upgrade <laughs> just saying and then I also bought this journal that I plan to do what normal people do and log all my thoughts and everything in here was only 12 bucks and then I got myself a fancy pen called cross and it's gel ink I'm gonna do some computer work now probably my favorite part of the planner is like each month so obviously it's October so it says this month is the month to sip hot cider buy a new pair of boots carve a pumpkin or just add glitter bake an apple pie from scratch and for November sleep in indulge in the lumpy mashed potatoes give an impromptu toast and count your blessings this is probably the nicest planner I've ever got myself so I'm gonna fill it out or at least like some of it right now and make it mine I'm actually getting ready to film a little chit chat on some stuff that I've been doing to practice to practice practice to practice mindfulness but I wanted to quickly address a question that I've been getting a lot of DMs about DMs and emails I would say of people inquiry inquiring inquiring about me being their personal trainer or if I still do personal training or will I be considering it in the future I'm assuming the people asking are new and if you are Hello, welcome to my channel. So I was doing online coaching before with my good friend Brendan. Let me just set this up right here. Yeah, so I was doing online coaching before with my good friend Brendan, but we took a break while I was doing all of the traveling because it honestly came to be way too much. Having 20 clients and traveling to three different countries a month, a week, whatever it is, it, it gets to be a little draining. Now, I did mention this before, so to those of you who have already heard this, I am so sorry, but basically I'm getting certified through NASM because I decided that was what was best for me to essentially have certifications to back up my knowledge and my programming and all of that. So I was on the program for a while but as you guys saw when I was on the Gymshark World Tour I went to three different countries in one week and I was keeping up with it but at this point I just feel like I need to be refreshed on everything I'm restarting the online course next week because I paid the extra to be able to go through the study course online and from there I believe it can take up to three months to get certified guys I'm not trying to rush this and I know some of you probably are not happy that I'm restarting the program, but I'm doing what's best for me and I wanna make sure that I ace this test when I take it. So yes, I am getting certified and I restart the program on Monday of next week. I'll be keeping you guys updated as I go through it and try and teach you things along the way that I learn. And yeah, once I take the test and get certified, I will 100% be taking on clients. It'll be a small amount and then I'll work my way up from there. There's also been a really positive response to me offering two week trials to you guys, which is awesome. NASM essentially found out that I was getting certified because because they came across my YouTube videos. And I know a lot of you guys have been doing it. The response has been really positive. So for those of you that are new, if you are interested in becoming a personal trainer, I think it's a great thing to do. I will leave the two week trial linked in the description box and I'll also have it across the screen for you guys if it's something you're interested in. If you have any questions at all about what program I took or anything, comment below, I'll be sure to respond to you. And yeah, for more extreme questions, feel free to tweet me. My Twitter is it's the poop. Yeah. I need to change that, not very professional. Anyway, I hope that cleared up that little bit of confusion for you guys and let's carry on with the video. I told you that this particular video would be primarily about, you know, kind of welcoming in mindfulness and, you know, trying to just figure out what works best for me in those moments. I'm gonna show you guys some of the new books that I'm currently reading or preparing to read and just overall some new things I have kind of taken on and I hope it helps you guys. I hope it gives you guys some ideas and I'm really excited to show you guys, so give me two seconds. So as you guys already saw in an earlier clip when I was at Barnes and Nobles, I got my new planner and I'm actually just realizing it's a Kate Spade planner, but this is it and I think it's freaking gorgeous and it has the little black 
loop-de-loop -loop thing to put around it. I don't know, I thought it was cute. Honestly, I think having a planner is a super important thing to incorporate into your life. I know for myself, I get really stressed and overwhelmed. I mean, I'm already stressed and overwhelmed half the time because I'm anxious, but on top of that, if I have plans and I don't realize I have them and I'm not keeping up to date with the things I need to do throughout the week, etc., it just ends up honestly stressing me out so much. And all of that can be avoided by just taking like 20 minutes out of your day. To just write what you wanna accomplish that day in your planner and get a cute one, you know? Like get one that you're gonna be excited to, to work with. Get yourself a cute planner, get yourself organized. It'll help you a bunch. And I prefer big planners. Hence why this is like textbook size. So this next one I'm actually pretty excited about. I got this idea specifically from Nikki and Twitter. I don't know why, I feel like a lot of people were tweeting about this for like a good period of time and then it kind of branched off. And I saw Nikki doing this while she was here. When I went to the bookstore by myself the other day, I saw a whole selection of adult coloring books. So this particular one is A Million Cats, Fabulous Felines to Color. There were bookshelves dedicated to adult coloring books. I had no idea it was this crazy of a craft. And I got kind of overwhelmed because as you can see, let me find a page. Look at this, like this is way too detailed for me. What, that is a lot of colors for one. And how am I actually gonna draw in the lines of all those? Like, are you seeing that? That is intense. I started with this page. This is some of the most therapeutic shit I've ever done in my life. And excuse my French, but it is so freaking calming to just sit down, watch TV, listen to music, like whatever, just take a moment to unwind and just color. You can do it before bed, you can do it when you wake up in the morning, like as you're like having your breakfast, I don't know. I do mine when I watch TV and unwind at the end of the night. It honestly is just super duper relaxing and you realize that you haven't really had the time to stress and be anxious and worry about other things because you've been coloring in a coloring book. And it's honestly, it's just fun. You feel like a kid again, you get to color coordinate. Nikki chooses demented colors when she colors. I don't even, I don't know what it means. She picks like brown, yellow, orange, green, and puts that on a bird. I'm like, Nikki, what are you doing? And then, of course, you need colored pencils. I bought this little bag. Uh, it looks like a makeup bag, honestly, but I think it's for pencils, and um, I have all of my colored pencils in here. They're really nice ones. I just picked the one that had the most colors available, and it comes with a sharpener and an eraser. Am I the only one that didn't know that you could use a colored pencil and erase it? That would make sense, but when you try to erase with a regular eraser in school with a colored pencil, that shit just smeared everywhere. So I think this one is specifically for colored pencils and I freaking love it. The next thing that I've purchased is a journal. I used to actually journal a lot when I was a kid and I write, I write a lot. So I have the tendency to kind of like my hand will cramp up on me or I'll get like a, a lump in here just from writing too much. I've gotten calluses in the past. Like I write very intensely, but you know, I think that right now with the way that my mind has been wandering and the amount that I've had on my mind, I really feel like a journal would be a really good thing for me. A lot of therapists will recommend this to you as well. It's a way for you to just kind of channel your thoughts into something physical. And a lot of people forget that and a lot of people are like, oh, I can just type it in my phone. And I'm like, we're on our phones all day long. You have your phone all the time. So I really recommend getting yourself a journal, write what you're thinking, writing it several times a day, writing it once a day, writing it once every couple of days. But I recommend once a day. That way you can kind of watch the progression of your thoughts and it can also help with your memory. If you have poor memories, such as myself, this is now my third day journaling. I was using another journal before, but actually, let me just show you guys what it looked like. Yeah, I had bought this journal from Barnes & Noble as well. It says, I may not reach Nirvana, but at least I could try. Daily intention journal. And so I thought it was cool because I'm not gonna show you guys what I was writing, but it has like these, put like the, the date, the mantra of the day, and then you put like today is my intention uh, to be or to appreciate, to let go of and to attract. And then you just, like you have X amount of lines to say how it basically went, but then you go to the next page and it's the same copy. Wow, it's really washed out, I'm sorry. So I write a lot more than what these lines offer. Definitely quite excited about this. Uh, this will be my little, my little best friend through life and I plan to honestly keep this up. My goal is to write for 365 days and then I wanna read back like a book and see how it is. That's actually gonna be the end of this video. My camera's probably gonna overheat in a minute. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and that's it. I'll be seeing you guys in the next